Hi skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2021 ski test videos. Today we're talking about the K2 Mindbender 85. Uh, this is a great ski. It's the narrowest of all the Mindbender skis and it often gets overlooked because it doesn't get some of the same technology as the wider Mindbenders. Uh, but it's still a really good ski and it's a valuable ski for the range. Um, basically, this is just a wood core ski. Uh, wood core, you know, fiberglass, torsion box like we often see in skis like this, but pretty straightforward basic construction compared to the Mindbender TIs or the Mindbender Cs that use either spectral braid or the Titanal Y beam. Um, this is just a wood core. So pretty basic, pretty simplistic build. But what's nice about this ski is it gets basically the exact same shaping concept as the you know, more expensive Mindbenders with more technology or more advanced materials in their build. So what this basically ends up being is a ski that's a really, really good value. Uh, you get quite long tip rocker, you know, for a ski that comes in at a super reasonable price point. You don't often get a shape that's this advanced or I'll just say this cool. So you get pretty long tip rocker. You also get pretty long tail rocker and you get some nice early taper in the tip as well too. So the way I like to think about this ski is it's kind of like, it's a great stepping stone ski. Maybe you're coming off like a system carving ski. You know, maybe you had a beginner or like a beginner intermediate maybe, maybe the more that style ski and you want to get more into off-piece terrain. You know, maybe like a young skier, a teenager or, or a tweener. Um, that is, you know, they're done with junior skis. They've kind of outgrown junior skis, but they're not quite like ripping around on heavy, stiff 180 centimeter skis. This is a great stepping stone. You know, this shape allows you to start venturing into off-piece terrain, you know, start skiing some trees, some moguls, softer snow conditions, what have you. This is a great tool for that, and it's not going to break the bank either. So while I certainly understand if, if you're an advanced expert skier and you're overlooking this ski and you're not super interested in it. This is an extremely valuable ski overall and there's a lot of skiers out there that can benefit from a ski like this. Um, you know, really easy to ski, very approachable, but still a pretty high performance ceiling realistically. Um, so yeah, you can, you can take this ski and go from beginner intermediate and end up all the way more in like the advanced almost expert level area and this ski is is a great tool to do that with um, so that's the mindbender 85 head on over to skiessentials.com if you want to read more about it um, we've actually had quite a few testers on this ski over the past couple years so we've got a wealth of knowledge on how this thing feels um, so yeah don't hesitate to ask us a question about it or, or if you want to know anything else about it um, and yeah we should have it for sale too you may not see as many of these available as some of the wider mind benders. So if you want to pick up a pair, I would recommend doing so sooner than later. Um, so yeah, let us know if you have any questions about the mind bender 85 and we'll see you guys out there on the slopes, exploring new terrain and just having a blast.